we're talking about containers today. Container adoption is exploding, with initial adoption showing up most in dev test, web services, data pipelines, and AI. However, the lack of persistent storage that mission-critical applications depend on from the storage infrastructure has held back mainstream adoption of containers. What if you could address this challenge and go beyond with the flexibility to have a shared storage infrastructure that delivers the cloud experience for your containerized applications? So in order to do this, we've actually put in place the necessary plugins which allow you to connect from your pure storage arrays up to the orchestrator. This allows you to provision persistent storage up to your container, specifically from a shared storage device. And it looks something like this. Anthony, this looks great. What happens when you need to scale your containerized environment and your storage starts filling up? Yeah, good question. So you'd end up with something, a few more pods. as your application scales out, where you'll end up with connections running down. And filling up your array. So this works up to, up to some point. But once this array fills up, you end up finding yourself in a bit of uh, trouble. Now, you can try to address this by adding additional arrays into the back end here. But in order to do that, you actually have to program into your application and into your pod definition awareness of underlying infrastructure. And that's something you don't want to do because it breaks, uh, it breaks application portability and it adds management overhead that you really don't want. Can you tell us how we can do this with Pure? So it, you know, in order to fix this, I, we sort of consider this to be the version one solution to a containerized environment being served by shared storage. We actually want to look at you know, a version two of this and the version 2 solution here actually introduces a storage as a service concept called Pure Storage Service Orchestrator. So the service orchestrator that we've created essentially plugs in in between the storage devices and the container orchestrator and replaces the plugins that we had in the original version. What this allows you to do is give that same public cloud experience to your developers that they expect you know, or, or that they only expect they could have gotten from the public cloud. And what this actually ends up doing is when you go in to create persistent storage for one of your containers, instead of connecting through from the container to the server and then to the array directly, it runs into the service orchestrator layer, which then makes a smart provisioning decision based on whatever policy is required to assign that down to an underlying array. So. In that scale-out case that we talked about before, where we add additional pods, these pods don't have to be aware of any of these underlying devices. They can just continue to request storage under whatever policy they need, whether that's block, file, different types of protection, various other things. They just request that, again, from the service orchestrator layer, and we will make the intelligent decision as to where to place that how to protect it, and how to make sure the end user application is getting the storage it needs. Anthony, that sounds great. You can now deliver container as a service. And even platform as a service. To your DBAs, operations teams, and developers with pure storage.